Hello, welcome, welcome back to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Here on the channel, you'll find me chatting about my adventures in knitting, spinning, crochet and weaving, all of the fibre related things. Today's video is a somewhat spinning related video. If you've been following along with my adventures here on the channel for some time, you'll know that going back in time, probably for more months than I care to admit, <laughs> I'm going to say this was ha probably happened about two years ago. I sorted out on a little cart behind me, which you can see my lovely fibre cart. I sorted out all of the quantities of fibre in my fibre stash that had kindly been gifted to me by lovely friends. And I popped them on this cart in the hopes that when I needed a new spin and I didn't have a particular spinning plan, I would visit this cart, grab a quantity of fibre and start spinning through that precious stash. And it's happened to a certain extent, but not as quickly as I would like. And the cart is still full, but at the moment it's very disorganized. You can see I've got fiber hanging out all over the place. <laughs> and I think it's time for a reorganization of this cart. I am hoping that I will be able to reorganize what's on here so that it only fills one of these trays and that I can therefore fill up the second tray with some new quantities of fibre to add to the cart. And it will be a mix of a couple of things that were gifted to me or that I've won in giveaways and a couple of things that I've recently purchased that I would like to bear in mind when it comes to spinning and try to spin them up sooner rather than later so they don't sit languishing in my stash. So I thought today it would be quite fun because I don't think I've ever done this even when I first sorted out my fibre cart. I don't think I ever gave you a tour of the fibre that's on the cart. I thought it might be fun to take you through what's on there and some of the things that I plan to add. I have recently been asking over on our Patreon page, over on the Patreon community, I have been asking folks over there to vote to choose my next spin. So I did that at the beginning of October. It's the very end of October as I'm recording this. I'm not sure when it will actually go up on YouTube. It might not be till the beginning of November. We'll see. See what I have time for editing wise. But I would also like to do the same thing for November because it was really fun. And what I did in October is literally I just came to the car, turned my back to the car, reached behind me and picked two quantities of fibre and then got the Patreon community to vote on which braid of fibre they wanted to see me spin up next. So I think I'm going to continue to do that for the next few months because it's been really fun and I've almost finished the braid of fibre that Patreons chose for me in October. I might actually do that as part of this video. I'll pick out uh, the two fibres and then put the poll over on Patreon. So it is only for folks who sign up to the Patreon community who can vote. Um, but yeah, it's just a, a little fun extra. So if you've been thinking about joining over with the Patreon community and you'd like to join in the voting fun, then that should be going on over there. Okay, so time to have a look at what's on my cart. So on the bottom shelf, uh, there's no fibre at all. I've got a whole ton of bobbins um, sat on the bottom shelf there. Most of these bobbins are 3D printed bobbins. They're for my Ashford traditional, which I don't currently have in the house. It's actually being used um, in a local shop as part of their display at the moment. But when I get that back, I've got plenty of bobbins to use with that wheel. I've also got um, some mystery bobbins on this cart because I got given a whole bag of spinning stuff, which um, is how I came to own some hand cards and my handmade nitty noddy. And in the bag were a few bobbins which don't fit on my traditional, they don't fit on my Haldane, and I think they must have come in that bag. So when I was given that bag of spinning stuff, I seem to inherit some random bobbins. <laughs> uh, so yeah, whenever I have spare bobbins, which for my Haldane and for my e-spinner is not very often. <laughs> Whenever I do, they end up hanging out in the bottom of the cart so I can keep track of them. I know exactly where they are. And then on the middle and the top shelf, I have all of the fibre um, that is in my stash that was gifted to me over the last several years or so. So let's get stuck in and see what we have. Um, I know this was a gift, I think it was last Christmas, from Caroline um, of Colourful Creativity. And this is some Manos del Uruguay, Manos del Uruguay fibre. And this is some Merino tops. Um, it's Superwash Merino in the Tiger Lily colourway, a beautiful selection 
of oranges and some yellows totally my color wheelhouse so uh, I can see why Carolee may have thought of me when she saw this and I've not spun with any Manos del Uruguay before so I'm really looking forward to the time when I get the opportunity to pick up this braid of fiber but once I've chatted about the fibers I'm just going to pop them on the floor next to me and then hopefully once I've been through them all I'll be able to fit them all in to just one shelf on the cart fingers crossed we'll stick with this um, bottom shelf and I have this is probably a quantity of fiber that's been in my stash for possibly the longest time and this was a gift from my lovely friend Lisa over in the US and it's a pack of hobbledehoy bobsleigh bats and I don't think hobbledehoy are dying anymore so these are super precious and they're one of the first sets of fibre that I was gifted when I started spinning and they definitely got put into that category of sort of too precious to spin and these colours are just so gorgeous um, oranges and blues my absolute favourite combination so yeah I've been hoarding these like a dragon hold, hoards their sort of jewels and gold um, and this is a combination of merino silk fine bamboo alpaca and there are four ounces in total and yeah I just haven't bought myself to spin these yet but they must be spun because they're absolutely beautiful and I think they're going to make some glorious glorious yarn so yeah that's the next quantity of fibre that was gifted to me that's been hanging out <laughs> on this cart for ages they deserve to be be spun they really do so next on the cart let's randomly reach back oh I've got an empty bag there that's always good to have um I have got this Ashford fibre and it's merino with silk sliver and it's 80% New Zealand merino and 20% silk and this was a gift from my lovely friend Tracy and I received this when we actually went to New Zealand which I can't even imagine I think that must be for at least five years ago now where does time go so I purchased a drop spindle when I was in New Zealand from my friend Tracy's friend <laughs> And you may know this person because I've got a couple of their spindles now. Um, it's a lovely lady called Tedge and her company is uh, Whimsy Wood and Wool. She's now actually based in Belgium, I believe. And I purchased a spindle from Tedge. I was able to go to her house and pick a spindle from her collection of beautifully made spindles. And Tracy kindly gifted me. She was working in a craft shop at the time that sold Ashford Fibre. And she kindly gifted me three quantities of this fiber to spin up and I spun two of them and this is the last one that's left and this is the color salvia and it's blue and green um, with a little bit of sort of natural silk obviously the merino has been dyed and the silk probably hasn't taken the dye and so it's stayed that sort of natural creamy white color and so yeah I have this is my last quantity of that gifted fiber left to spin through and all of the quantities of fiber that Tracy gifted me were the same blend the same merino silk and I've spun both spun both yeah on my spindles and they were a joy to spin so I know that this is going to be a lovely one to spin up when I get to it and then actually the last two quantities of fiber on this middle shelf came from the same trip and these were both gifts from James so we went on a trip to the Yorkshire Dre the Yorkshire Drails. <laughs> Don't know where they are, but we also went to the Yorkshire Dales, <laughs> and we went on a little trip. It was my birthday, and we went on a little visit to a mill. And this mill is now kind of a cooperative with lots of different creatives working out of the mill, and they had a little shop there as well. And I went round and I filled up um, a little basket full of stuff, and. Then when we got to the checkout, James surprised me and said that he was buying it for my birthday, which um, if I'd have known as I was going around, I'd have put more stuff in my basket. But I guess that's why he didn't tell me till we got to the checkout. <laughs> but anyway, I got two quantities of fibre on that trip. So this is um, hand painted Corridale combed top from B Textile. And um, there's no colourway on here, but oh, I, just, I can't wait to spin this. And I'm going to spin this as a fractal to merge and mix all of those beautiful colors so there's some beautiful sunset oranges which obviously attracted me but there's also a bit of blue a bit of brown some purple um a few peaks of mustard it's going to be so much fun to spin that and corridale is such a nice fiber to spin up we went on that trip before the pandemic so it must have been 2019 and then from that same trip, uh, from a different um, dyer, this is from the Hobby House, I got a bat as well. I picked up 
this bat um, again it was just a whole rainbow riot of colors it looks really fun um, there's nothing on there other than it just says mixed fibers so it's a bit of a mystery um, but it feels beautifully soft and yeah can't wait can't wait to spin it up so many beautiful fibers and not enough time so that's not bad there's just five quantities of a fiber on there and that tray is empty now but i think the majority are hanging out on the top here so let's go through these um so i've got another quantity of ashford fiber here and this is the pumpkin pie colorway and this is um, 100 percent merino and this was a gift from Christine last Christmas. Um, she said that she went to visit the Ashford shop when she was in New Zealand. We did not do that. So that seems like a good excuse to go back to New Zealand one day. <laughs> um, but she was visiting and she said she saw this colour and thought of me and very kindly picked it up and sent it my way, which I'm just so, so grateful for. And this package is empty, uh, empty, is open because this was actually one of the fibres that went into the October vote. The other fibre obviously won. This was a very close second. Um, the pumpkin pie colourway would have been perfect for spinning up in October. And a lot of people who voted for this did say exactly that. But it wasn't to be this time another fibre got chosen. But yeah, that was go back on the cart and wait for its turn hopefully in the not too distant future next up are uh, these are some of the most precious things i have ever seen and this was a gift from tori last christmas and tori sent me some felview fiber merino tussa silk and cashmere um, rolags and it's the mittens colorway and i think if i remember rightly and i'm, I'm pretty sure i'm remembering it rightly these were inspired by um, a picture of a ginger cat, a ginger and white cat. And if you follow the channel for any length of time, you'll know that I have a little ginger and white cat, my little newt. And so Tori purchased these for me and sent them to me as a gift for Christmas, which was just the most precious and thoughtful gift. So thank you so much, Tori. Um, and I have been putting these, these have been on top of the cart. Uh, I see them every time I come up here into the craft attic um, because I, I just cannot wait to spin these. But I also, they're even though I'm trying to move away from the too precious to spin idea, um, these are kind of still in that category a bit and I think I might need to admire these for a little bit longer before I spin them up. Although I have had them for almost a year now, so um, maybe it's time, maybe it's time, we'll see. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna go for this one which keeps hanging over the cart. Now this was a gift from Dagmar in Germany and as soon as I saw this fibre I had an idea that I wanted to spin up a beehive sort of coiled yarn with this. I don't know why but that's just what it's telling me. I love the beautiful colours in here. There's oranges, blues, browns, yellows and I can just see these as like a beehive sort of art yarn. But the thing that's held me back is I don't really have the skills to do that. I've never properly made, I think I've had one attempt at making a beehive yarn. And I've actually got some yarn down on one of my bobbins for my Ashford e-spinner where I started spinning a thick and thin yarn as a practice to hopefully get to this. <laughs> but I just haven't finished that yarn yet. And I do want to practice because art yarn spinning is well outside my comfort zone. And I feel like I could really mess that up. So I want to practice on some fiber that's not quite so precious, doesn't have quite such a sentimental attachment to it before I actually get round to spinning this up. Talking for so long, my camera battery ran out. <laughs> Not sure where it cut me off, but I think I might have been talking about these two little quantities of fibre that I have on the cart. Um, this one is a little sample of fibre that was a gift from Andrea, and um, there's no fibre details, but it's quite textured. I would say there's probably some sari silk in there. There's definitely some glitter, some Angelina or Stellina. Um, and I've also got this little packet of BFL, Blue Face Lester, which was sent to me by my dear friend Angie. And um, I've kept these on my fibre cart because, um, A, I think they are in the same sort of colour family. I've got these beautiful sort of jewel tone autumnal colours and the green in there. And Angie sent me this. I think this was from a bit of a spinning disaster that she had and the fibre just wasn't spinning nicely for her. Um, but she put me a note in there saying that maybe I could use it on one of my bending board uh, sessions to make myself some Rolags. And I kept this quantity of fiber that was also a gift from Andrea for that reason as well. So at some point um, I'm going to blend these maybe together, maybe separately, I'm not quite sure, but they're on my fiber, fiber cart to remind me to have some blending board or drum cutter fun with those at some point. And actually I may even be able to combine these two with my next quantity of fiber. And this was a gift from the lovely Helen and Helen um, has 
um, her own alpacas and she lives down in Tasmania and Helen has become um, a really lovely um, friend and supporter of the podcast and she sent me several gifts um, over the last few years including some of this beautiful alpaca from her own animals and I have to be a little bit careful with alpaca because I do have a slight allergy but I am going to definitely spin up this at some point I'm wondering if maybe if I mix it up with some of the other fibers that I've got blend it up um, my sort of reaction to the alpaca might not be quite as intense so that could be a plan coming together <laughs> using three of those smaller quantities on my cart to make one yarn so yeah I think I might be formulating a plan as we speak <laughs> I have this beauty from Attic Spin Dye the lovely Andy and Angela and again quite some time ago I bought a couple of braids of Attic Spin Dye fibre and Andy and Angela are so generous with me and they sent me a couple of braids as well and this is the last one standing on the cart and this is the Hummingbird colourway and it's 100% um, Superwash Wensleydale and I love Wensleydale. Look at those beautiful beautiful jewel tones um, there's this gorgeous sort of gingery brown with some tealy blues some black in there and that's going to make just a really really lovely skein of yarn and as I say one of my favourite fibre bases to work with as well uh, so yes that has I've spun quite a few quantities of um, Attic Spin Dye fibre that was on the cart and that is the last the last man standing <laughs> the last one patiently waiting I do still have some Attic Spin Dye fibre in my stash um, and I've got a bag full of gifted fibre from Andy and Angela left to, to spin through as well so that's not not the end of the the Attic Spin Dye gifts <laughs> and actually one of the other quantities of fibre um, while we're talking about the lovely Andy and Angela from Attic Spin Dye Angela gifted me um, this set of natural um, fibres it's originally from World of Wool and it just says um, natural British breeds mixed bag and there's a whole different um, array of fibres in there um, unfortunately I'm not sure how easy it's going to be for me to tell which is which so I might try and figure that out as I go along but there's some Herdwick, some Swaledale, some Black Welsh, some Black Jacob, uh, White Face Woodland and Angela uh, gifted this to me out of her own fibre stash and I've been itching to play around with this and I just haven't found the time yet so hopefully that one will pop out of the cart soon and um, onto the spinning wheel or my spindles because there's going to be quite a few fibres in there that I haven't actually spun with yet so I think I'm going to have a lot of fun a lot of fun with that one and then finally we're actually down to the last quantity that is or has been hanging out on my fibre cart and this was a, another gift from the wonderful Caroline of Colourful Creativity and it is 100% Superwash Merino and it is this beautiful rainbow of colours. How gorgeous is that? And I would love to, uh, does it say how much? Tells me how many microns the merino is, 16.5 microns. Doesn't tell me how much is in the bag. Um, but I would love, if I can, if there's enough to, and I think there might, there might be, um, to spin this up, chain ply it, and then use it as a yoke in a sweater. Um, so I know exactly what I'm going to do when I get to to this spin. Um, I just haven't had the time to do it yet. <laughs> and because of the beautiful rainbow, it's definitely also been one of those ones in the too precious to spin category. But um, I've spun a lot of merino now and I feel like I can spin it fairly well. So um, there is no reason that I should ruin this. <laughs> and it should be just a straightforward end to end and then chain ply spin so can't wait to, to get to that one at some point soon and when I say soon for all of these you know that's relative right these have been hanging out on the cart for like two years already <laughs> and of course this cart does not represent my entire fibre stash I have got um, several cubbies worth of um, fibre hanging out so I am going to quickly reorganise these put them back on the cart and then see if I've got some space to sneak in a few more braids and if I do then I shall chat to you about what extras are going on the cart this time round. Okay so with a bit of rearranging you can see I have managed to create quite a bit of space on the cart um, and I've got quite a bit of fibre on the ground next to me waiting to fill up that space so we see how many I can squeeze on here. Um, the first one is a bit of a beast and last December I was lucky enough to be drawn as the winner in the Gillian Eve advent giveaway um, I think she was doing vlogmas and I won an eight ounce braid huge of Blueface Lester 
in these glorious colourways. So I'm going to, as something that was gifted to me, I'm going to add this onto the cart now. And I know that's going to take up quite a lot of space, but hopefully I can squeeze a few more things on there. Um, I've got one more um, quantity of fibre that was a recent gift and the lovely Sarah um, sent or she messaged me to say that she had these Icelandic fibre Rolags that she tried to spin but wasn't getting on with. Um, would I want them? So I sent her some money for postage and she very kindly um, sent these on to me. And it's this lovely sort of natural gradient from a sort of dark black, sort of slate grey um, through different browns, browny grey and then through to white. And I've never spun with Icelandic before so I'd like to play around with these. Um, so I'm going to add those on to my cart as well. Oh, it's getting very full with just those additions but I've got plenty more to add on to it so fingers crossed I can squeeze it on if I have to go into the bottom tray with the bobbins so be it but I did a trade earlier on was it earlier on this year I think it was earlier on this year with my lovely friend Jeanette and Jeanette wanted some things from my D stash Jeanette was also having a D stash and we did a little swapsy and I as part of that swap I received quite a few different quantities of fiber and I've spun, actually spun a couple of them up um, but I have this um, two times 25 gram bats from Jelly Beans Yarns um, they're merino fiber and I've been itching to bin these up and I almost spun these last month but I couldn't find the fiber <laughs> I ended up spinning something else instead and literally as soon as I started that something else these popped out of the tote where they were hiding so I am going to put these um, back into the bag and put them onto my cart I think these would be a really nice one to spindle spin as they're a slightly smaller quantity of fibre and then the rest are fibres that I have purchased this year and I've got two purchases that were from Wonderwall um, one is this beautiful Polworth fibre um, from the lovely Almas Witchcrafty Lady um, in these fabulous fluorescent colours and um, so I'm going to add that to the cart as a reminder that I'd like to um, get that spun up sooner rather than later rather than let it languish. I'm definitely running out of space so I'm going to get creative and pile it up a bit. Um, I've got this one from Hilltop Cloud which was my other fibre purchase from Wonderwall and this is um, Corridale Yak and Rose Fibre. And this was actually in the bargain bin if you can believe it on the hilltop cloud to stand um, it's a lovely sort of grey base with greens and pinks and um, some blue sort of grey blues in there as well um, so that is going on to the fibre car and I haven't actually spun with yak yet I don't believe or not to my knowledge not that I can remember so that should be an interesting blend to spin up and then I've got two more which I think are going to have to go on the bottom and these are recent purchases the first is from Siobhan's Crafts and I purchased the treasure chest the treasure chest the treasure the treasure chest uh, sort of limited edition special colorway um from Siobhan's Crafts and I don't have the fiber content was it BFL I'll have to look it up if I can remember to look it up before I publish this video I'll pop it on the screen um but Siobhan's Craft are selling these um, and money is being donated to the treasure chest charity in there so that's going to go on the bottom and then my other recent purchase is some rambouille um, from feather and fleece and this was a mystery fiber club and um, rowan does a lot of mystery fiber or they have been doing up until now and this was a um, sort of greek myth type inspired mystery and this is the hephaestus colorway and i love this of course um, oranges and reds and some grey in there um, so I want to as a recent purchase I want to add that to my fibre cart too so there we go a tour of my fibre carts what is on there um, some new additions and I said I was going to pick two colours didn't I before we went for the November spin boat so how am I going to do that I think I'm just going to do what I did before I'm going to close my eyes face away from the cart and just randomly pick this coming and maybe something from the middle let's see what we've got maybe this one Ooh. okay um, so the vote will be between my hilltop cloud um, which I have no idea yet how I will spin this I will have to um, have a think about it and then the art yarn which will be a bit more involved because I need to do some practice but I'm going to put a poll up on patreon soon and ask for um, community over there to vote between 
these two quantities of fibre, which one should I spin up next? If you're not already a member of the Patreon community, details of how to sign up are below and you can sign up for as little as a pound a month um, and you get access to all of the content, all of the extra content and the fun things that are going on over there. Time to round up this video. I feel like it might have been quite a long one. I'm not sure because I recorded it in sections, um, but I hope you have enjoyed <laughs> a little tour of my fibre cart, my newly organised and newly added to fibre cart. <laughs> <laughs> see how many of these are still left on the car in two years time <laughs> well I'm sure I'll come back to do the next one of these videos let me know have you spotted any favorite fibers on here that you'd like me to spin up sooner rather than later do you have if you're a spinner do you have your own sort of process like this do you have um, sort of planned spins or do you have um, a cart full of fun spins like this or a box full of fun spins uh, yeah let's chat all things spinning in the comments below thank you so much as always for being here for watching for liking the videos for subscribing to the channel um, for chatting in the comments below um, I do appreciate the community that's grown up around this channel and yeah you make it such a pleasure to uh, record and upload these videos every time I do so so yeah thank you so much I shall be back again soon with some more making content so I hope you will join me for the next video but until we do get to spend time together again I hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy maybe a bit of stash reorganization <laughs> great big willy hugs to you all bye for now bye